Software vending. Obviously, this is my own area of niche. Software vending refers to selling software applications for licenses directly to customers that they can use on their own system. This is a, a actually this is not my niche. The next one is, but it's related to what I used to be. This is basically you selling software. Every niche that you're in, I don't care what it is, they use software. Even air stylists that you might say, okay, what software are they used to do air styling? They manage their stores, they manage their money, they use software to do that. So it could be a product that you are doing in your niche. Personal development people that have type of too many plenty types of softwares that you can sell to them. Or Forex, obviously Forex is even uh, much more relevant to all of this. They all use software to do their trading. And that's why I say at part of your product arsenal, there has to be at least one or two softwares that you are thinking about creating because you are running a business. You are not just selling books, even if you are a book premium. You are selling transformation to get to that your six figures. And everybody in your circle of influence, in your circle of niche, they buy all this stuff. It's for you to think about it. What is the software that will be great for them? Take uh, uh, um, several pillars to six figure coaching program, which is our core. Creating, helping people to start and run their online business. That is what we do, right? Our software vending part of it will be a software for them to manage their businesses. Just like uh, for uh, 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 community management, Gary, my coach, created the social connector. The social connector software, there's a free version. There's one that is $99 a month. There's one that is $250 a month. And there's one that is 5,000 down payment plus $250 a month. I'm doing that fifth one. 5,000 plus 250 a month. Just for the software. And yet, its program is a coaching program. So you'll find out that your software probably makes you the most money out of everything you are doing. Because that is the end. The 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 real legacy money. Because with software, if people are using it, you don't have to work every day. They are paying you. Especially if you are doing the second one I'm going to talk about. This one is just a one-off sale, which every one of you will be able to do. Meaning you go look for software in your niche, even if you are not creating one yourself. And then you are going to offer it to your customers at one point that they needed that. Every Forex person would not be adverse to a good software, for instance, because software is what they used to do that. So I would expect a Donald to, as part of his arsenal, to have one or two or three softwares that is recommended. They don't even have to be his own. He just works out a deal with the owners, make sure it's an affiliate, gets 50% of whatever they buy. If he doesn't want to maintain the software, that's what software vending is. You are not the one maintaining it. You are just selling it to them. Once they buy, they're on their own. They upload it on their system and they use it from their system. They don't rely on you to give them access to use it beyond the first access, maybe their code to get access. That is software vending. And every niche, you should be thinking about that. Don't think that software is for software people. Software is used by niches. <laughs> Those who are doing hair styling, they use software. Those who are doing parenting, there is software for it. Even something as simple as a, a, a room monitor for a child. That's a software. Somebody is selling it. Why won't it be you? If you are in the parenting niche, you are teaching parents how to bring up their children well. But you are not thinking about the software that they are going to be buying for their children. They are going to go buy from somewhere else. That's why it has to be an integral part of everything you do. If you are also a book premier, depending on the niche, because if you say you are a book premier, you have to pick a niche also that you are writing books on, remember? That your niche, by the time you track it down, at the end of it, people in that niche, they have softwares that they use. Your job is to go find those software and give it to them or create your own, which is the ultimate. You might not be able to do that. I don't want to give anybody the impression that you're going to be a software owner tomorrow. But when we go into software, I'm going to teach you how to create software. I think maybe Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday, because I want Sherry to come on Wednesday to teach about the courses. Sherry and uh, uh, Donald probably will be, will be sharing that Wednesday. They're going to be teaching about how to create courses. Donald is going to be teaching us about how to publish on Udemy. 
how to create and publish it on Udemy. I want you guys to have at least two different uh, exposure to creating courses because to me that is very big. I'm pretty good at it, but I think I want to have people who are actually dealing it directly, like a Sherry, to come and teach you that. Then I may add my own on Thursday or Friday, but you are going to have that. But on Thursday, definitely we'll talk about software. I'm going to show you many ways that you can create software that you don't believe if you have not gone through my class before. You don't need any technical skills. I don't have any. I'm still struggling to understand how to use the social connector. I'm sure if they give social connector to Ailey right now, she'll be able to use it better than me within a day. I'm just like that. I'm totally, totally, totally not technical. But I own over a dozen of softwares at one point. I've made millions of dollars creating and launching softwares. So none of you here can will give me an excuse when I'm done with that training and tell me I cannot create a software. They're lying to you. It's my specialty. I did it for at least six years. Let me not say seven, six. From 2016 to let's even take out two years. So say six years, yeah. From 2016 to 2002, 22, put it that way. Seriously, it's what I do. Several times a year, I launch a new software. But I don't know jack about anything called software. Bismatic that I'm going to be launching end of this month. You, you guys think I went to code it, I went to do any technical, I don't know shit about that. But I'm going to launch that software, you guys are going to see the progress of it. I'm expecting to do a six-figure with that launch. Even though I've not launched in three years, at least that's my goal. If I don't do it, that's fine. But you have to have a big goal. Because typically when I launch, I don't do less than six figures in sales. But it's been three years, so I may not even have any success at all. But it is what it is. So what I'm saying is that you can sell software. And you don't even have to be the owner of the software. Even if you don't want to create any. By the time we talk about software on Wednesday, products that you can sell without even having to maintain it. But you need to have it as part of your product Asana. What we are discussing, in case you are just watching this, I'm discussing different types of product Asana you have to have because you cannot be a real digital business person when you don't have your own softwares. You are just going to be a guy spending money all the time. Internet businesses, you are supposed to spend money while other people are spending money with you. Hi, right, Dallas, we see you. But if you don't have products you are selling, then the joke is on you. I don't have a problem paying somebody $5,000 to get their product or paying $1,000. I play plenty on Clubhouse. But I've been paid plenty on Clubhouse too. So everything balances out. I'm cool. I've sold my software there. I've sold my books there. I've sold my coaches there. Most of you that are here is Clubhouse. You met me. And that's just a fact. You paid me money to be here. So I have no problem spending money on Clubhouse. It is when you don't have a product that you are selling that the joke becomes on you. And that is why we are doing this. For you to really be a digital business person, you must have your own product. It's a marketplace. It's like going to the mall, the way I look at it, the way I look at Clubhouse or anywhere else. It's like it's a mall. There's somebody selling shoes there. There's somebody doing ear style. There's somebody selling ties. There's somebody. So the person selling ties is going to go buy food from the person selling food in the mall. The person selling food is going to go buy shoes for his for her children in the mall. So it's an economy that is going round. So there's nothing wrong with anybody selling on Clubhouse. It is only wrong when you don't have something you are selling. Or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I have no problem with that. It's a marketplace. And the joke is always on the person who is going to the mall all the time, but you have no store there. You have nothing you are selling there. And you don't have something you are selling at your house that you can buy. Now you are a customer that everybody is digging their hands into their pocket. But you have nothing to dig into somebody's pocket at because you can't dip hand in my pocket unless you have a product to sell to me. No matter how poor your product is, you must have something. And that is why pillar number three is critical. And the goal, by the time we finish this next week, the goal is for you to have four products. Out of all this one that I'm going, we're going to sift it out. Then you're going to pick your own four that will be congruent. And then we are going to create it. Yes, sir. We will create it before the end of next week. You will create it. Get, get ready. Then you can then, some of them are easier to create than the other. But you start with some. And then as you go, I don't expect every one of you will go to software immediately. Some of you will take you six months to think about the software you need. Some of you is going to take you a year. And that's okay. 
because maintaining software is not the same thing as selling a course or selling a book, but you must have. I don't know of anybody that is rich that doesn't have that as their back end. You see Russell Brunson shouting all the time. His real money is made with his software, the click funnels. Just so that you guys get it. Click funnels does, I think they say, over a hundred million dollars a year. And that was five years ago. I know. Because I have click funnels. I still have it to this day. It's $297 a month. I've been paying them for the last five or six years, every month. Just me alone, calculate how much they got from me. And they've got more than 10, 20,000, 30,000 people using that platform. But Russell Brunson is a digital marketer like you and I. He leads with his book. Other traffic secrets. I saw something major is doing right now. He's launching a new book. His fourth book in the series. He's saying, buy the other three and get this one free. But when you buy that book, the next thing you're going to get is the audio. After that, you're going to get a funnel hacker course. 997. Then you're from there, you are going to end up. They did not burn your mother or your sister. You are ending up on click funnel software. That is where it all starts. That's where it ends. Because that is his money. He doesn't mind giving you that front end book self for free. He does challenges every quarter. Those are people, when I talk benchmark, Russell Brunson is on my own benchmark, so I know what the hell I'm talking about. I study that man like a hawk. Gary is on there. List my five guys for you. Russell Brunson is go and look at it. What he sells is a software, but what is in the front end is a book, audio, a course. Then he has the funnel hackers workshop that is two thousand dollars to attend. He is coming up soon. The cheapest ticket is one thousand nine hundred ninety something or something like that. I have bought it, so I know they are not telling me maybe maybe. But at that funnel hackers workshop, which is the fourth level, his target is to everybody who comes there to have a click funnel software before they go home. Because that one they pay money every month. 97 or 197 or 297. Those are the three levels he has. He has version 1.0 and version 2.0 that I introduced. The 1.0 is used to be a, a 97 and then 297. Then the 2.0 now is 97 and 197. So I have both of them because I like to waste money. I'm, I'm trying to disassociate myself with one now because it makes no sense. But my point is, you will be able to create different levels of products and it's progressive. Software is the ultimate. By the time I'm done with this next week, that will be my closing comments to you guys. A subscription software is where your money is. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm expecting by the time we are done, every inner circle person will have, will pay for Bismatic because they need it. It's either they're going to buy my own or they're going to go buy click funnels. But whether they don't need a funnel builder is a lie. They need one. So why would I be the one providing it for them? Because you need something to create your funnels. You need something to do your SMS book, book marketing. You need something to create your email marketing. And I've got to create Bismatic that does that. But I'm giving that as a uh, as part of this, the, 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 the benefits that elites get. At least those who get in at the $3,000 mark now. Before I increase it to 5000 after Bismatic comes out. End of this month, early next, next month. Then my elite is going to go to $5,000. Because it's going to include Bismatic for free. Bismatic is going to be $197 a month. So that's already 2500 right there just for the software. And then it won't matter what the rest of my front end is doing. If I can get 1000 into my software and they're paying me $197 a month, that is $200,000 a month. Just like a joke like that. That's what, it, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And then so if I decide to do anything else I'm doing, I'm, all I'm then doing at that point is getting people to get bismatic. I will do a, a funnel challenge, for instance, how to create funnels for your business. Then you get a free trial of Bismatic to use to create it. Your free trial expires in two weeks, right? So you start subscribing. Pay me my money. That's what Russell is doing. That is what Gary is doing. Social Connector is, is bread and butter. All these other 5,000 front end is just 
uh, uh, to me, even overcharging front end is, I think it's charging too much, charge more. But social connector, that's why all of you got a free one. By the time you use it for a, little, a few months, the man is going to, then you want the higher level. It's giving free service to everybody. But it gives a very limited use of that software. When you see the pro, you yourself, you want to pay that money. I'm telling you that software is amazing. If it works well, if you know how to figure it out. Not to not talk about the builder version, which is what I have. He has the free, he has the pro, he has the max pro, and then he has the builder version. But that's his money. If he can put 20,000 people in that team, and they're paying him $250 a month, that's $10 million a month or whatever. So you have to be thinking like that. What I'm saying is as a fearless net premium, if you don't have a software in your arsenal, you are leaving about 80% of the money on the table and you're going to work yourself to death. You guys think I want to do this coaching thing until I die? At one point, I'm going to burn out. I don't want to do coaching. I'm going to be tired. And I'm going to hand it over to somebody else or I'm going to cancel coaching. John Lee doesn't do coaching anymore. These are smart guys. They've been there. We will tell you to do coaching now is $100,000. It's not like anybody is signing up for it, but the man is telling you that's what he charges. Because he has a software somewhere at the back. A lot of people even talking about this. You know that. I know I've seen it. Rob Moore has. Every one of them might feel the same. So if you want to be big, you have to be thinking about this software star. It could either be the one you buy and sell that you are not maintaining that the owner is maintaining it and because you don't have the capability to hire developers and maintain developers, but they're out there. The next level, oh, oh, sorry, the next level,